Good evening. Very lively crowd here tonight, seems. I'm told this is the biggest crowd ever for this event, and, uh, and it looks, you guys look great from where I'm standing. Glad you are here, glad we're sharing this, uh, this evening in such a beautiful setting on a wonderful spring evening. It is my pleasure to be here with all of you tonight for this evening of victory and celebration. Together we celebrate the 30th anniversary of MedStar National Rehabilitation Hospital, one of the country's leading rehabilitation hospitals, as all of you already know. Indeed. Since 1986, NRH has grown from a single hospital to now, 30 years later, to one of the largest and finest inpatient, outpatient, and day treatment rehabilitation networks, adding years of life to so many in our community every day and every year. Well, on April 29, 2015, I had a stroke. And uh, to my good fortune, uh, after that uh, experience, I was transferred to MedStar National Rehabilitation Hospital, where I received some really outstanding care. Benson was outside with his siblings sledding and was hit at by- At a neighbor's house. At a neighbor's house, was hit by a moving vehicle and was airlifted from our neighborhood with life-threatening um, injuries. He had a severe traumatic brain injury and was in a coma. And the first 72 hours were touch and go. Well, before I came to MedStar NRH, I was at George Washington University Hospital, and uh, it was a very difficult time in my life. And honestly, when I went to NRH, I was very excited uh, and believed that things could get better, and they did. And he thankfully pulled through, but had to learn to breathe again, talk again, walk again, everything. And so we started our journey at a hospital in Virginia and came to NRH where they helped us get to where we are today, right? The rehab process made me believe that I could get better, which was very important in terms of giving me hope. Realize he's taught me so much about facing adversity and the spirit and being positive and never questioning or never feeling sorry for yourself and just working hard no matter you know what the request is and and it really shows with with the right guidance and the right support um, anything is possible. I never, I never looked at my disability as a disadvantage from, from the get-go. My, my family never saw my disability as a weakness or something that we, we needed to fix. They saw, they saw it as something that I need, they needed to learn with and grow with, but they never saw it as a weakness. They saw it as a strength. And I grew up with a Marine grandfather, and he never allowed me to say can't or won't or no. It was always, you're going to do it. You want to do it, you do it. You never, you never back down, and once you start something, you always finish it. So what I've learned from this process is that you've got to work hard every day. Recovering from stroke is uh, one of the biggest uh, uh, challenges someone will ever, ha will ever have in their life, but you can do it. And, uh, but you've got to be disciplined, you've got to set goals, and you've got to work at it. When I got this opportunity to work on, uh, on a show, Breaking Bad, and it turned into a career for me. It gave me a career. It gave me the opportunity to reach people on a different level and in a different way. For a long time, people look at disability as an illness, as a weakness, as something we have to cure and, and get rid of. I actually look at it as the complete opposite. I look at it as an asset. I'm just so, I could not be more proud of him and the rest of our family and more thankful to NRH and the amazing people, the doctors and the therapists and the nurses and the techs, and I could go on forever. It's incredible. So my experience is that uh, MedStar NRH is definitely a place where you can find uh, uh, hope and support and encouragement to guide you through what could be a difficult process. This is an amazing opportunity, but I think this is one small victory that, that we have a long road ahead of us, and I think that this is a pleasure and honor. And 
I, I'm really happy that they're they're allowing me this opportunity. But uh, but I have a lot more to come. So this is this is just the beginning. That if I try hard, I will get what I'm trying to do right, and I just keep on trying. 